Hello and welcome to a Claes Hunter 1 tutorial. This is my website codefreaks.co.uk. On Codefreaks you can post questions or answers about any of your coding problems. That's web or desktop and includes Blender. If you have any hardware or software problems you can also post them too and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. That's codefreaks.co.uk. Let's open Blender. Start, all programs, Blender Foundation, Blender, Blender. We're going to talk about your default file paths first. If you drag down the top bar and, and select file paths, you can set all your default file paths. This is useful so you don't keep having to browse for the selected folder. Once you've done that, you can resize the top bar. Uh, we're going to talk about the components of the 3D workspace. This is your default cube. You'll always start with it. This is your light here, which I've selected by right mouse button. If we zoom out a bit by the plus and minus keys or the scroll wheel on your mouse, so we can see the camera. You can right click on that as well. The light obviously provides light to your scene and the camera is the perspective where it will get rendered from. You can view the angle which it will get rendered from by pressing numpad 0 or going to view and camera. Let's go back to front view now. We will go to the view menu and click front or you can press numpad 1. We want to select the cube, so if we right click on the cube it will have pink, pinky white outlines to it. Let's zoom in. The plus or minus keys or the scroll, scroll wheel on your mouse. At the moment we are in object mode. We can tell this by the outline of the cube having pink slash white border um, and also it says object mode down here. To change to edit mode, which is the mode we want to be in to be able to shape our cube a bit more, we can press the tab key, so it will go to purple with a yellow border, or we can click the drop down box here and select edit mode, which does exactly the same thing. Firstly, we're going to talk about moving objects. So we're going to move, move our cube. If we just rotate our cube a little bit, which was in our first tutorial on how to do that, you can see it from a 3D angle. Now, to move the cube, if you press the G key and move your mouse, you can see it moves to different locations on the screen. To set the location of the cube, you use your left click and just click once. That sets the location. To move the cube along a particular axis, you can press the G key and the Z key. That will constrain it to the Z axis or you can press the Y key which will constrain it to the Y axis or you can press the X key which will constrain it to the X axis. We're now going to talk about rotating objects. To rotate an object press the R key and then move the mouse. To set the location you can press the left mouse button. That sets the cube how you want it. You can also constrain rotating so if you press the R key and then the Z key, you can only rotate it on the Z axis or the Y key for the Y axis or the e X key for the X axis and cl left click to set that position. You can resize objects also. To resize an object, press the S key on your keypad. Then move your mouse closer to the cube or further away to make it bigger. Left click again to set the size. You can also constrain the size, size movements. I press the S key and the Z key to constrain it to the Z axis and press the X key to constrain it to the X axis and press the Y key to constrain it to the Y axis. Let's set our cube so it's like that. We'll rotate our cube. Well, it's not much of a cube anymore, but we'll rotate our object. 3D parallelogram. Um, so we've got a bit of a better view. Okay, for example, say we want to resize only a part of the cube, we can right click on a particular vertex to select it and hold shift to, to select a different vertex as well and we can press the G key so we can now move that. You can also constrain these anytime by pressing one of the X, Z or Y keys. So we'll push it there. You can also rotate these by pressing the R key, which are also constrainable. 
and you can size these by pressing the S key and you can also constrain them too. The yellow dots at the moment, they are called vertexes. This is a vertex. This line here is an edge and this is a face in between all the vertexes and edges. We can select a face by selecting four of the vertexes or vertices in plural, sorry. So we'll hold shift to select another vertex and hold shift again and click, right click, sorry, and shift and right click again and now we've selected a face. We can size a whole face by pressing S or just grab it and move it by pressing G and left click to set. That about covers it for this tutorial. Keep checking back for more. Thank you. Goodbye.